FMU, you're on the air. Ah, Sharpling. Hey, it's Spike. How are you? All right. I have a question for you. Sure. Well, uh, what's on your mind, Spike? Uh, I saw uh, John Hodgman on the TV show Bored to Death. Mm -hmm. Where did you see that? Uh, the uh, the uh, OTB was it playing on one of the overhead TVs between horse races? No, my TV at home. Okay. Some of us do have cable. No, some of us don't have cable. Most of I us have, have cable. cable. Oh, I have cable. How did you swing that? You must know somebody, right? Huh? You must know somebody. Please, oh, no, give I me their name. I, I, I have cable. This is not 1978. Everybody's got cable now. Well, I'm one of them. But anyway. Yes, he was quite uh, interesting on that show. He's a good performer, John Hodgman. Yes. Anything else? Any, you want to, any other uh, previous guests you want to talk about? Well, Paul F. Tompkins. Okay, there you go. That's another one. What would you like to say about him since he's not here this week? Well, that's why I called last week, but I never got on the air for some strange reason. Hold on a second. You didn't get on the air last week? No. Yeah, well, did Mike did not let you through? No. Hey, Mike, did you not let Spike through last week? I didn't think so. This guy always goes to the front of the line. Yeah, you didn't call last week. Oh, yes, I did. How's the book? On hold. How's the book coming? How's the book coming? Weirdos exposed. Oh, just about complete. It's what? Well, what? Uh, just about complete. Can you read us more from it this week, or do you have it? At, uh, where do you have it hiding now? Were you hiding at the at the, uh, the bus depot? No, I do have it in a locker, but not at the bus depot. Just, again, last chance. Last chance. You're not, you do not, this book is, does not exist. Just admit it. Oh, it does. No, that thing you read, when you read from it a couple weeks ago, that was you talking about you, not this guy. Last week, a couple weeks ago, for, for anybody who doesn't know, this guy Spike, he claims he's writing this book called Weirdos Exposed, where he was interviewing people from all walks of life, talking about, to them about weirdos and talking to weirdos. But then you called a couple weeks ago and you finally read from this book. And you were not reading. You were just talking. You, you shifted, uh, perspective shifted. I think you changed... You changed the 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 person in the book, like the like you shifted from this guy Scott saying it to you saying it. No, that was Scott, definitely Scott. <laughs> oh, How, trust me on this sharp thing. It was oh, definitely Scott. This book does not. This is it. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm giving you this final chance now to just say. This book doesn't exist, and then you're clean. You you get a clean break. I'll never mention the book again when you call. From this point on, the book will never get mentioned again. But if you forego this opportunity, you're going to get the hammer. Oh, the every hammer! Time, every time. Uh huh. When your book, when it, when it, when, it, when it's clear that your book doesn't exist, I I, I will not let up. I'm letting you off the hook right now. We will never speak of weirdos exposed ever again. All you have to say right now is, you know what, it doesn't exist. Oh, your impressions of me are, are so quaint. Just say it. Say, I know it doesn't exist. You know it doesn't exist. Just say it. We both know it's true. That thing you read, you weren't reading. You started talking and then you were just... I asked you to reread part of it, and it was different. All right, well, for the sake of this conversation, let's say the book does not exist. <laughs> That's fine. We will never speak of it again. Very good. Fair enough. Clean slate. 
You have a great night, Spike. Very good. Carry on. <laughs> I never thought it was going to play out like that. He owned it. He admitted it. He said it out loud. And I will stick to my my agreement. I will never speak of weirdos exposed again to him. Is that the saddest thing ever? Did the saddest thing ever just happen? Yeah, I gave him the out. And he took it. But he knows he he knows it's true. He he. That was. I feel weirdly guilty now, over that, and I had nothing to do with that. I didn't say when are you writing a book? You better write a book, and you better write it fast. I never said any of that. This guy brought up. Here's my book. I'm writing my book. My book is on the way. My book is halfway done. My book's almost done. My book is done. Yeah, I don't keep my book at home. I keep it at work. Then finally he reads from it. Makes no sense. Oh, oh, I got chills now. I'm getting chills from that. Brother. Brother.